Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm one of many product managers here at Franklin Sports that helped engineer and design this Franklin Sports Quick Set Swivel Table. Setting up some of these larger table games can sometimes be a little difficult. So I'm here today to help simplify the process for you. So grab your instruction manual, get set up, and let's get going. First, lay out all of your components on a flat, level surface. Now what we want to do first is create a secure base. So in step one, we'll be attaching the legs to the leg pedestal. It's easy to match up where the bolts need to go on the product because they're pre-drilled holes with inserts. So you'll be using bolt nine to connect the legs to the leg pedestals. You'll use three bolts per leg. Put the bolt through the washer, then the individual holes, and attach the leg pedestals then repeat on the opposite side. Now that the legs are attached to the leg pedestals, our next step is to connect them to the base of the cabinet. We do this using bolt 13. So we're going to take bolt 13, slide a washer over that, then we're going to slide that through the middle hole on the leg pedestal. After it's through the leg pedestal, we're going to add a spacer. It's a little foam spacer that came with the set. You're going to put that over the bolt now, and then you're going to connect the bolt directly to the cabinet. It's very important on this step not to over tighten. You can always tighten more later on in the process. For now, do not over tighten. Once the leg pedestals are connected to the cabinet, you're then going to add the handle bolts to secure it further. Put one on each side of the bolt. Again, do not over tighten. Once they're in securely, repeat on the other side. The next step involves creating more of a structure for the bottom base. So what we want to do is connect the leg end panels to the leg side panels. We do this using screw 18. So screw on the side panels like so. Make sure that the holes are facing upward. Now that the leg side panels are connected to the leg end panels, attach the side panels to each of the legs using two bolts through two washers per leg. Repeat on the opposite leg then move to the other side of the table and repeat the same system. Attach the two smaller end panels on each side of the table. Do this using four bolts and four washers. Simply take them, make sure the black laminate is facing outward, and take the four bolts and put them in the designated holes. And simply screw in. Repeat on the other side, and let's finish off the base. Next, insert the two crossbars between the two leg side panels at their designated holes. Attach using screw 42. Now, screw in each of the leg levelers. Once your table is completely assembled, you can always come back and adjust these leg levelers to always ensure an even playing surface. Attach the top end rail with the appropriate screw, part number eight. Repeat on the other side. Then attach the ball entry cups using three screws on each side of the table. To flip the table, first make sure the foosball player rods have been removed. Next, unscrew the handle bolts on each side of the table. Then simply rotate the play surface and insert the handle bolts to secure the table. The table tennis hockey top fits securely into the billiards playing surface. The table tennis surface requires you to attach the net posts and net before gameplay. The player rods simply press into their designated holes. Please note the positioning of each player rod to ensure correct assembly. For a more detailed explanation, please refer to the instruction manual. Secure the player rods in place by aligning the two plastic pieces on each end of the rod and pressing firmly together. 
Finally, attach the scores at each end of the table on the foosball surface using two screws. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. I hope it helped. For more cool product, check us out at franklinsports.com.